हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस अ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स एज सम ऑफ सिमेट्रिक एंड स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स और सम ऑफ हर्मिशन एंड स्क्यू हर्मिशन मैट्रिक्स फॉर दैट वी हैव टू सी फ्यू थियोरम्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट एस बिगिन विद थियोरम वन it states that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix so let us see its proof we begin by considering a b any square matrix then one can always write a as half a plus a transpose plus half a minus a transpose we haven't used any mathematical property here but instead we see that after opening these brackets this a transpose and minus a transpose will get cancel and we left with 2a upon 2 that is just a so since this equation is mathematically correct we can always write a as half a plus a transpose plus half a minus a transpose now we let p as half a plus a transpose and q as half a minus a transpose such that a is equal to p plus q we will now prove that p is a symmetric matrix and q is skew symmetric matrix we know that a matrix is symmetric if it is equal to its transpose and matrix is skew symmetric if it is equal to its minus of transpose so let us consider p transpose p transpose means transpose of this matrix that is half a plus a transpose transpose let us take this transpose inside the bracket half transpose is half this will be transpose of a and transpose of transpose of a is just a so p transpose is this matrix but we see that this is nothing but p so we found p transpose is p similarly if we take q transpose that is transpose of this matrix we get half into a transpose minus transpose of transpose of a is a so we have half a transpose minus a taking out this minus sign we will get minus half a minus a transpose which is minus q therefore we see that q transpose is equal to minus q hence now we can say p is symmetric matrix and q is skew symmetric matrix now we prove uniqueness of p and q for that we introduce two dummy matrices r and s such that r is symmetric matrix s is skew symmetric matrix and a is r plus s now we begin by considering p which is half a plus a transpose but since we have considered a is r plus s i will replace this a by r plus s so we get half r plus s plus r plus s transpose r plus s transpose is r transpose plus s transpose but r is symmetric therefore r transpose is r and s is q symmetric so we say s transpose is minus s now you see this plus s and minus s matrices will get cancel will end up with 2r upon 2 that is just r but left hand side is nothing but a matrix p so we end up with p is equal to r this preserves the uniqueness of matrix p similarly now we prove the uniqueness of matrix q for that we consider the matrix q which is half a minus a transpose we'll substitute a is equal to r plus s in this expression we get half r plus s minus r plus s transpose this will be r transpose plus s transpose but r is symmetric matrix so we write r transpose as r and since s is q symmetric matrix we write s transpose as minus s so minus minus s becomes plus s this plus r and minus r will get cancel and will end up with 2s upon 2 that is just s but left hand side matrix is q therefore we end up with q is equal to s now this preserves the uniqueness of matrix q 
Hence, we can now say that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. Now we see second theorem which states that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrix. Guys believe me proof of this theorem is almost similar to the proof of theorem 1. We just have to replace every symmetric word by Hermitian and every transpose notation by theta. So that we can write A as half A plus A theta plus half A minus A theta. Then we consider P as this first matrix and Q as this second matrix. You will see that P theta is equal to P and Q theta is equal to minus Q. You can show the uniqueness of P and Q the way we have shown the uniqueness in the previous theorem. So one can always write every square matrix as a sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices in this way. Now we proceed for theorem number 3 which states that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as P plus IQ where P and Q are both Hermitian matrices. For that you just need to write A is equal to half A plus A theta plus I into 1 by 2I A minus A theta. So we take P is equal to half A plus A theta and Q is equal to 1 by 2I A minus A theta. This numerator I we will not consider as a part of Q. So with this combination for P and Q we can always write A as P plus IQ. You will see that P theta is equal to P as well as Q theta is equal to Q. Therefore P and Q are both Hermitians such that A is equal to P plus IQ. The uniqueness of P and Q can be written in the similar way we have done in theorem number 1. Now we'll see some examples on these theorems. This is our example number 1 where we are given this 3 cross 3 matrix A which we have to write as sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrix. We just saw theorem number 2 which states that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices whenever A is written as half A plus A theta plus half A minus A theta. So here P is half A plus A theta and Q is half A minus A theta such that P is Hermitian matrix and Q is Q Hermitian matrix. So let us first find out what is A theta. A theta is conjugate of transpose of the given matrix. You can also find transpose first and conjugate then. Both are same. So let us find what is A transpose. This is our A transpose obtained by writing every row of the given matrix as the column of the new matrix. Now we will write what is conjugate of this transpose that is A theta. It is obtained by replacing every element by its conjugate. Conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 minus 3i. Conjugate of minus 2i is 2i and conjugate of 4 is 4. Similarly, you can write the conjugate of other six elements. So this is our A theta. Now we will find out what is A plus A theta and A minus A theta. This is a simple addition of two matrices and subtraction of two matrices. So this is your A plus A theta. See that here we are adding ijth element of matrix A with ijth element of matrix A theta. So 2 plus 3i plus 2 minus 3i becomes 4. This minus i plus i becomes 0. On the similar lines find out what is a minus a theta. We see that a minus a theta is this matrix. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Finally we write p is half a plus a theta and q is half a minus a theta. Here we give the reference of theorem number 2 and say that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices in this way. 
such that P is Hermitian matrix and Q is Q Hermitian matrix. Now let us go for another example where we are asked to express the given matrix A as P plus IQ where P and Q both Hermitian matrices. So let us first find out what is A transpose and then what is conjugate of A transpose. So the, in this way we get what is A theta. Now we calculate what is half A plus A theta and half A and 1 by 2i A minus A theta. Hope you remember theorem number 3 which states that every square matrix can be uniquely expressed as P plus IQ where P and Q are both Hermitian matrices such that P is half A plus A theta and Q is 1 by 2i A minus A theta. So let us see what is half A plus A theta. It is this 3 cross 3 matrix and 1 by 2i A minus A theta is this 3 cross 3 matrix. Here we say that P and Q are Hermitian matrices by giving the reference of theorem number 3 and A is equal to P plus IQ. In this way, one can express the given matrix as P plus IQ with P and Q both Hermitian. I hope you guys understood how to express any given matrix as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix, sum of Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrix and sum of P plus IQ where P and Q are both Hermitian matrices. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.